In this video, I'm going to show you how to find alumni on LinkedIn to generate leads, network, or maybe throw a big party with your old mates. Few moments later. Basically, to find alumni on LinkedIn, you can use four different tools. The LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the LinkedIn Alumni Tool, LinkedIn Groups, and the LinkedIn Search Engine. I will describe the four techniques in this video, so feel free to jump to the part that interests you the most with the timestamps I had it on the video. Okay, so first thing you can do is uh, use Sales Navigator. For that, you need to be a premium customer of Sales Navigator. It costs approximately uh, 100 bucks a month, but um, this search engine is much more powerful than the basic search engine on LinkedIn because you get much more filters and much more qualified results. So for example, if I want to look for alumni here, I just need to go on view all filters and then go to school here and then add any school I want here. Let's choose Harvard University, for example. And here I get all the Harvard alumni or current students that have been or are into Harvard right now. But what I can do to look for alumni into a specific position is use the title filter. And like, and for example, if I want to have all the CEOs that have been to Harvard, I just need to write CEO here. I can add chief executive officer also. And here I get all the CEOs that have been to Harvard. I can also uh, precise a country or a city. Like here, let's search for United States. Um, I can precise an industry as well, like uh, computer software, for example. I can precise like a company headcount if I'm targeting like SMBs. And here you can see that you can build a really curated uh, alumni list uh, if you want to generate leads. Another thing you can do is to look for company alumni um, by uh, using the company filter here. So let's say I want to search for like all the people that used to work at the hotspot and that now head of marketing. I can go into uh, the company filter, check past not current, and then look for hotspot here. Then I go into the title filter. And I write like head of marketing. And then I get a list of all the people that used to work at HubSpot and that now are head of marketing. So if I check the profile, first profile here, you can see that Marie used to work at HubSpot and she is now head of marketing at Lifespawn. So for example, if you were HubSpot and you wanted to sell um, your CRM to your alumni, obviously you can contact uh, Marie who is in charge of marketing to try to sell off spot uh, to uh, Livestorm here. In case you want to extract all these profiles and find the emails of these people, you can use the Everboot Chrome extension. So basically when you download it, you get a button here, extract Everboot, and you just need to click on it. And then you will be redirected to Everboot. And then you just need to name your search and launch the extraction here. And you will get all these people uh, into a CSV file with like first name, last name, company name, company website, uh, the LinkedIn URL, and also their email addresses. If you are enjoying this video right now, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to the channel. It will help other people like you find this video. The second technique you can do to find alumni is to use the LinkedIn alumni tool. So basically, if you go on any school page, you will find um, an alumni tab. So here, just right there, if you click on alumni, you get the list of all the alumni and um, you get a little analysis of the alumni, where they live, where they work, uh, the position they have. And then you can also uh, look for uh, these alumni uh, with uh, the keyword search. So. Basically, if you want to have all the CEOs, you just write CEO here. You can also choose start year and end year. And then you get the list here of all the CEOs that have been to Harvard. And you can like connect and click here to uh, visit their profile. But um, the thing here is that the search is really limited. 
and uh, it is not possible to extract uh, these people into a CSV. So it's much better to use uh, the LinkedIn search engine. So with the LinkedIn basic search engine, you can do the same thing that we did in Sales Navigator, but you get less filters. Essentially, when you are on the basic search engine, you need to click on all filters here. And then you scroll down and you get here school. So you can look for schools here. So let's say Harvard University and then press show results. And here you're going to get all the people that are in Harvard or used to uh, be in Harvard. And then like in Sales Navigator, you can use uh, other filters on top of that. You get uh, less options, but you can still uh, look for titles like, I don't know, CEOs, for example. Uh, you can also look for like, uh, let's say you want to have all the people that have studied in Harvard and that now doing sales at Amazon, for example. So you can add like sales. Oh, you can add sales in the title and go for uh, the company filter and then look for like Amazon. Then you may want to precise the location as well. So here we'll choose United States. Um, you may want to, to add other filters, but uh, these ones are, 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 are good. And then you get a list here of so all the people that studied in Harvard and are now doing sales at Amazon and live uh, in the United States. Yo, so you can really build a curated lists with uh, many filters and so with the basic LinkedIn search engine. If you want to extract these results into a CSV, you can do it with uh, Evaboot because we only extract uh, data from Sales Navigator, but uh, you can do it with a tool called uh, Phantom Buster. So just need to go on Phantom Buster, go on LinkedIn, and then write search here and go for the LinkedIn search export. And then just need to add your cookies. So you get a Chrome extension to download and then copy paste the URL of your search and then Phantom Buster will extract your search results. Last technique you can use is to look for uh, LinkedIn alumni groups. So there is many alumni group on LinkedIn, people that try to gather all the alumni of the school. For example, if I write here Harvard alumni and I go on the groups tab here, I get many groups and sometimes uh, they have a, a specific uh, function like here we get the entrepreneurs so if you are targeting entrepreneurs um, this group can be a good fit so you just need to click on a group and then click on request to join so to be able to see all the members you're gonna have to be um, accepted by the group admin first once you get accepted by group admins you can get access to uh, all the group members. So I've taken another group uh, to show you that. So on the top right here, you can click on see whole and then you get access to all the members. And the great thing with group members is, is that you don't need to uh, send a connection request to send them messages. So here I can uh, send DMs to any member of this group and I don't need to send a connection request and then send a message. So you can like save a lot of invitation credits because right now you only get 100 uh, connection requests per uh, week. Uh, before it, it used to be uh, 100 per day. So right now, uh, connect, uh, connection request credits are really uh, a scarce resource. So you need to use them carefully. And then here by messaging group members, you can save a lot of them. If you want to extract uh, group members into a CSV, uh, you just need to copy paste the URL, uh, go back on Phantom Buster, look for groups, and then choose the LinkedIn group member. And then you just need to add your cookies and then paste the LinkedIn group URL. But you have to be accepted by the admin first. It is really important. Uh, if you are not in the group yet, uh, Phantom Buster won't be able to extract uh, the group members. So now you're good. You get the list of all the alumni you want to contact and now you get to reach out to them. So basically, uh, the messages you send to alumni often get a good reply rate 
because talking about the studies always bring back good memories for people. So you can expect good results uh, with this type of prospecting or networking. And here I'm going to show you three types of messages uh, you can send to these alumni to have good reply rates. In the article I wrote on the same topic, and I will add the link in the description, I've added three templates of messages you can uh, send to alumni. So first thing you can do is uh, ask to join an alumni group. So for example, you can create an alumni group and then try to gather all the alumni of your school. And you can uh, send a message like this, like hello, first name. I'm trying to gather all the school name alumni into a LinkedIn group or a Facebook group so we can stay in touch and network. Uh, I noticed you were in school from start and end date. Would you be interested to connect with other alumni of our school? So typically, if someone is interested to network, um, he could totally reply to that message. Second thing you can do is uh, organizing an event. So if you organize an event, you can reach out to all the alumni of your school to gather them into this event. It could be a digital event or a physical event. So you could send a message like, hello, first name, I'm organizing an event gathering school lane alumni and the link of the event. And then you can like uh, emphasize on the fact that uh, alumni don't talk to each other enough. So you can say like many people are doing great things, but I feel like we are not connected enough. I'm sure we could easily help each other if we can communicate more. And most people will agree with that because alumni never communicate enough, I think. This happened at location at the end. Are you interested to join us? First thing you can do if you are not willing to uh, create a group or organize an event is simply uh, ask for a catch up. And then I left a template as well you can use. Uh, hello, first name. I try to reach out to school lane alumni to see if we could network and help each other in business. I feel like our alumni network is really underrated. We could all benefit from communicating, communicating more. I've noticed that you are working in industry or you can add a job title as well. Uh, we get few connections in common and here you will get because you have studied in the same school, so obviously maybe you got some connection in comments. You can mention names, maybe. And then you can say, like, if you are willing to talk about the good old times and how we can help each other, you can grab some time at Calendly here. And then you can uh, left your Calendly links. Basically, Calendly is a, is a tool that you can use to easily book meetings. And I will also uh, leave the link uh, in the description if you want to use it. That's it for this tutorial, guys. If you want to dig deeper into how to use Sales Navigator and LinkedIn to generate leads, a network, you can check the video just right there. And to see more tutorials about LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can subscribe to the channel. We publish really good content on this topic. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. With the timestamp. Timestamps.